Here are five reasons why HMOs should be part of your investment strategy. Number one, they have higher yield potential than single let properties. With multiple streams of income per property, and if they're managed correctly, they can cash flow far better than alternative rental properties, which are usually reliant on one or two income streams, such as a family. So if you're looking for income generating assets, HMOs can be a useful tool. Number two, there is a lower risk of total vacancy and void periods. If you're renting by the room, tenancy end dates can be staggered throughout the year, meaning you're unlikely to have all tenants leaving at once which could have a severe impact on your bottom line. The exception to this is student rentals where properties are rented to a group on fixed term contracts. However if you're providing quality accommodation and based on the supply demand imbalance in the market right now this shouldn't really be a problem. Number three you have a higher potential to attract multiple tenant markets. HMOs can be used for a variety of purposes such as student accommodation, accommodation for young professional sharers as well as shared living arrangements for those people on lower incomes. Basically depending on your location, you're likely to have a plan B market if plan A tenant market doesn't work out too good. And number four, HMOs are a popular accommodation choice during periods of economic uncertainty. Renting by the room can be much cheaper than renting a full apartment or flat. So HMOs provide much needed accommodation for those looking to downsize or reduce their overall living expenses, especially in today's economic environment. Number five, larger HMOs, i.e. those five bedrooms upwards, can have multiple exit strategies if things don't work out. For example, if you rent a student Students, but the university closes for whatever reason, suddenly your tenant market is gone. So those larger properties with bigger building footprints can provide alternative uses through conversions into flats or apartments, which can either be retained, sold as block investments, or titles split and sold off as individual long leaseholds. There are many more benefits than those I've just outlined in this video to investing in HMOs, but I would hasten to add that they shouldn't be your only investment strategy because diversification and risk management is the key to any successful property investor's portfolio. Oh, yeah.